So if that's true, you are the answer to your prayers. So I talk a lot about being in the present moment, the I am moment, not the I was, not the I will be, but the I am moment. When you think about the concept of prayer, affirmation, they lean outside of themselves for an outcome. They look for an answer to their prayer. They're looking outside themselves as an external. The Bible says, whatever you ask in God's name is granted if you have faith. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can ask the mountain to move and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Both of those statements have this one word inside of them. Ask. It has another word inside it. Faith, belief. It says, if you ask and believe, you're going to receive. That's what it says. I mean, and that really is the the concept of the modern New Age uh, law of attraction stuff. I personally think the, the, the law of attraction stuff is just a marketing of creation. Whatever you ask for, you get. So in reality, you are the answer to your prayer if you believe it. Because it literally says, what you, Buddha said, what you think you become, you create your world. Your thoughts, your beliefs, your faith is creating. And if you're asking outside of it, you're putting faith in it not being you creating. If you're asking for an external God to give you something, you're literally saying to God, I don't have it. You're literally saying to the universe, this is not in my existence in this moment, in the I am moment. You know, I use this prayer formula. Now, I made this prayer formula up a long time ago. And the reason I made this prayer formula up is because mom was Catholic and I just kind of liked the concept of a prayer formula. But there's a, this prayer formula that I use is very specific. The first thing is to thank you, God. You know, when you thank the source for something, you believe it's coming. Because I say, can I, have a, can I have a glass of water? Thank you. I say thank you when I know it's coming. I say thank you when I believe I'm receiving. Right? Thank you, God, for the blank, whatever it is. I am receiving. Moses said God's name is I am which is a present moment statement. I am receiving. Whatever you ask in God's name is granted. I am asking to receive. Amen. Amen means so be. It means right here, right now it's done. So thank you, I am, and amen are are beginning, middle, and end present moment. Thank you for the blank. I thank you for the abundance. Thank you for the unexpected income. Thank you for the fun and loving relationship. Thank you for the whatever you want to ask for. I am receiving. It's coming into my experience. The reason I say receiving is because it's, it can be very difficult for people to think it's going to magically happen. I've been very blessed in that I've seen it happen very quickly with people healing themselves. But in, in, in reality, most people have a hard time with it believing it's going to magically happen in their life. So receiving, creating, enjoying means it's in motion towards me. Because I'm receiving, I'm going to start to see evidence of receiving because that's my belief. I am receiving. Amen. So be it. Right now I am receiving. And you are the answer to your prayers. You are the creative person. You ask and you receive if you believe. So it comes down to you being the creator of your experience. You being the person who is saying, this is happening. I am directing this into reality. And God says, yes, do that. Whatever you ask is granted if you have faith. You can ask a mountain to move and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. So, in other words, you are the answer to your prayer. Just be the answer and receive the outcome. So that's my thought on this, guys. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.